everybody rested after the long weekend? Wow. <laughs> We're all ready to go back to normal life so we can actually get some rest, right? <laughs> this morning I'm going to talk about fear and worry. If you go to Matthew 6, starting with verse 25. It says, Therefore I say to you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. It is not life more than food and the body more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air, for they neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not more of value than they? Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit to his stature? So why do you worry about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, neither toil nor spin. And yet I say to you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Now if God so clothes the grass of the field, which, is, which today is and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe ye? O ye of little faith, therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For after these things the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knows that you need all things, but seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble." There's 365 times in the Bible that we're told to fear not, or in other words, don't worry. Don't worry about those things that may come your way. When we worry about things, we're living in fear. Philippians 4, 6, and 7 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Today in Foundations, we were talking about the anointing and how the anointing breaks the yoke, breaks the bondages. Fear is nothing more than being in bondage. And when you break that, when you're under the anointing, you can break that yoke. You can break that bondage in your life. Many times we, we say that God has control. We've given God control. There's a lot of people that seem to think God's got control of this world. He does not. He's only got control of the things that we give him control over. And when we take those things in our life and we give them to him and just walk away and say, God's got it. I'm not going to worry about it. Then he's got control. But if we take those things and say, God, I want you to have control of this. Take this. And then we turn around and start worrying about it. We just took control about it, back about it. And we're saying we don't trust God to take care of it. So we need to start trusting God more to take care of those things. Walk away. Don't look back. Don't worry about it because he's going to have control over those situations. Some of the things that we worry about are you know, our, our kids, our spouse, our jobs, our finances, our health. But God's only in control of those things when we allow him to be. He cannot control anything. He gives us free will to be able to give him that control or take it back whenever we want to. Sometimes God tells us that we need to do something in order for him to move in our lives. We need to be ready to listen to him. Sometimes it's just walking up and hugging someone letting them know they're loved. Sometimes it's paying for them a cup of coffee so they can sit there and, and vent to you. Sometimes it's buying them their groceries, buying them a meal, or sowing money into somebody's life. But he will tell you that, and when you listen to what he tells you to do and obey him, then he is going to bless you in ways that you can't even begin to understand. So... <laughs> 
So like Philippians 4, 6, 7 says, don't be anxious. So in other words, fear not. Don't worry. Pray and then turn it over to God. Thank him for what he's doing in your life, for what he's going to do in your life, and then trust that God's taking care of it. And then that gives you peace in your life. Who's servers? <laughs>